Dynamic fields allow you to apply the same definition to any fields in your documents, simply by applying either a prefix or a suffix pattern. For example, you can add the following field name, and this might describe a field that is a string and a multivalue, hence the double S. Dynamic fields help address common problems that occur when building search application, such as modeling documents with plenty of fields, adding new indexing sources. Let's look at each one of these use cases to get a good feel for what you can do with dynamic fields. Dynamic fields help you model documents that have plenty of fields by applying the same field definition to any matching field with a certain prefix or suffix pattern. In previous section, we used a string field type for the fields, username, type, and language. Moreover, each of those fields was stored and indexed. Imagine that in addition to these fields, we have dozens of other string fields that are also stored and indexed. In this case, it might be impractical to type in explicit definition for each of these fields. Alternatively, you can define a single dynamic field element to account for all these string fields using a suffix pattern on the field name. With this pattern, any field name ending with underscore string will inherit this field definition. It's time to do some testing. First, we define a dynamic field pattern. Then, we can index a document. And for the field types, we can simply specify the pattern introduced earlier, that is wildcard underscore string. Therefore, Dynamic fields are really useful since you will not have to type in every possible field. Thus, you can enjoy a simplified schema file. However, be aware that at query time, you will have to specify the full name of the field, such as select documents where lang string is English. And we got our document with ID 6. You can also use dynamic fields for multi-value fields such as our links attribute from the previous section. The following dynamic field definition has multi-value set to true. Finally, we can query the link underscore text field as select where link underscore text is equal to solar. And we got our document with ID 7. It's important to mention that Solar ignores the dynamic fields definition in your schema file until you start indexing documents that make use of those fields. In practice, many Solar developers keep an extensive list of dynamic fields provided with the Solar example schema. These fields are there when needed, but ignore otherwise. If you add a new data source for your application that has fields you haven't encountered before, you can use dynamic fields to include them during indexing and they will be picked up automatically. Since new social networks seem to come online every day, we wouldn't want to rework our schema file to handle documents from these new sources. With dynamic fields, we can include new fields introduced by your new document source without making any changes to the schema XML file. For example, suppose we want now to add support for Facebook social network that includes a field that captures the mood of a person when a new post is made. With dynamic fields, you can introduce this new field as a string in your document. Although dynamic fields can be a handy feature on indexing side, there is no real magic on the query side. When querying for documents that were indexed with dynamic fields, you can't formulate queries to find a match in all string fields by querying with a suffix pattern such as wildcard underscore string cheerful. You need to explicitly mention which string fields to query, such as mood underscore string cheerful. However, if you want to find matches in more than one field, dynamic or static, Solar provides a clever way to do that with copy fields. 